Molten and Gale Water District is hosting our Naturescape tours where we're going through several homes within the Molten and Gale Water District territory and looking at the new landscapes. A lot of our customers have removed their turf, which uses a lot of water, and replaced it with California-friendly plants. And as you can see, these plants are beautiful. When you drive by and you can see a beautiful yard like this, what it does is it helps others say, look, I can have a beautiful yard. I don't have to have lawn. My house can look just like this. here at this beautiful garden on this beautiful day here in Laguna Niguel and we want to introduce the homeowner of this beautiful property, Dennis, who's with us today, who's three years into his Naturescape experience and has a fully mature garden that he's enjoying. So you decide to work with your neighbors to install the Naturescape? Well, we're good neighbors and we shared the yard anyway and this seemed like such a good idea. Do you see any different animals or birds than, than you might have seen before? Yes. yes, hummingbirds and other birds and we also get some some wonderful aromas off of the landscaping at different times of the year. We think it's been a big success after three years. We're happy with how it looks and we're happy to be part of the program in saving water. contacted Molten Miguel and they took care of everything from the design to the plantings, um, both our front and backyard. It took two days. It was very easy and we ended up with this stunning native garden that supports all of the local butterflies and birds and hummingbirds and bees um, and it's absolutely gorgeous and it cut our water bill in half. What we have here is a naturescape garden. What we're trying to do is bring the outside in by having California natives in our front yards, backyards, and inviting pollinators to our homes. We're here with Bob and our homeowner, Madeline, and she's added a really wonderful pathway around here so she can enjoy her garden. In this garden, there's a wonderful variety of California native plants. In front, we have the Mexican sage, one of the many names for it. It's got red flowers, it's gonna bring in hummingbirds mostly. And then here, Pozo Blue Sage, which is a wonderful source of food for hummingbirds, bumblebees, carpenter bees, all kinds of native bees, and butterflies too. So Madeline, this garden's only 15 months old. Uh, what's your favorite part of the garden? I just, I love all the colors and the fact that it attracts uh, so many hummingbirds and butterflies and it's very low maintenance. 